Welcome back. For over the last three and a half years, the Army's Future Combat System program has been hard at work developing more than 14 new warfighting systems for today's soldiers. They range from medical treatment, unmanned surveillance, to long-range firepower, all of which seem light years away from project completion. Now, the future is here. Soldiers at the Pentagon got a hands-on look at some of the first prototypes of these high-tech weapons, to which almost everyone asked, When can I have it? You know, that's always the question. When can I have it? Uh, and, and you're starting to see the beginnings of that this year. These systems will be in the hands of troops sooner than you think. Right now, soldiers in the 25th Infantry Division are working with the Class 1 system, and troops at Fort Bliss will begin their first official testing period in fiscal year 2008. For many on the ground, the controls that operate these systems will be very familiar. To control the little Sug-V, we give you a Xbox 350 controller. So if I tell you where the buttons are, five minutes you're operating. This one here is designed for the infantry soldiers and the uh, scout soldiers, so it's man-packable. They'll pack it on their back in a molly pack and take it with them. 2-6, I have enemy tango supported by infantry. The key to these future combat systems is the moving of data around the battlefield, which to a soldier can be invaluable. It's going to add a wealth, wealth of lethality survivability for our troops. It's a good thing. All elements, move in for close assault. Let's go! We're here! Today's battlefield is evolving, and for the first time in decades, so is the Army by modernizing through its future combat systems, and it's giving troops an edge anywhere, anytime.